Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to check out Word Yahtzee from Low. This is for one or more players, probably for about ages 8 plus. It'll take you about 15 to 25 minutes, maybe even more, depending on how many players you are playing in the game. And Word Yahtzee is a twist off, a spin off of the original Yahtzee, where you were rolling dice trying to get certain combinations of numbers. Well, you guessed it, this time you're gonna be rolling these dice which have letters on them trying to spell various different words. Four letter words, five letter words, one word, two words, three words. You can get a word Yahtzee by using all the dice together. It's a spinoff of the original immensely popular Yahtzee, but does it work as well as the original? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of a word Yahtzee. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. It is uh, really just this. This is all you are going to get, and it will teach you how to play the game pretty well. It's also an incredibly simple game. I do think that when they made this rule booklet, they kind of thought that most people would know how to play Yahtzee. Now, they also include this on the back of the box, which is much more useful, and will give you like actual example of a mock game. And this is a good spot to put it. So uh, overall, the rules, along with this, are pretty well done. I can also teach you how to play the game right now because it's incredibly simple. So in Word Yahtzee, you are going to have your little score sheet here where you can keep track of numerous different people's scores and you are trying to get the most points at the end of the game you're going to do that by getting two little words three little words four little words five little words six little words on the top and then on the bottom one two three words all consonants all vowels or yahtzee words and a yahtzee word is of course where you use all seven of the dice to spell a word Next, you have the dice, which are obviously probably the star of the show. They are D6 dice, except instead of, you know, pips on them, they're going to have different numbers with different letters attached to them. Letters attached with numbers. There's also one of these right here, which is going to be a while. On your turn, you probably guess what you could do. You're going to flip over the sand timer. You're going to have one minute. You're going to use this cup for the first time, then chuck it because it's really completely unnecessary. And you're going to try and spell some words. So I'll give you one example. So let's see. Ooh, this is good. So I got uh, 10, and I got, or I could make it teen, uh, net, I could make it net, netters, ne, ne, na, knack, knack, I'll keep the wild for sure, uh, I could make can, and then let's see, does this have an I on it, does this have an I, no it doesn't, but I could make con, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that, roll it again, and one, one, yeah, so I might just do, you know what? I might just do cow. There we go. So cow. And so there would be my word. I would decide to use this as my two words, because that is one of the categories, and I would score the word letter value. And it says right here how to score it, which is actually really useful. So I'd score two, three, five, nine, thirteen. You don't score anything for the wild. So I put thirteen right next to my two word, and then I could not fill that in later on in the game. Now, if you ever get to the situation where you're trying to fill something in and you don't have a spot to do it, well, that's unfortunate. Luckily, though, you can use your chance. But if your chance is already gone, then you have to do, like regular Yahtzee, start crossing things out. Uh, also, you can get Yahtzee bonuses. So if you get extra uh, extra Yahtzees, you can score a boatload of points. You probably won't unless you were really, really good with words. But anywho, you're going to continue to go until all these are filled in or X'd out. Add up your points. Whoever has the highest grand total will be the winner of Word Yahtzee. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Woo! All right, then. Word Yahtzee from Low. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. The biggest reason why I have this game that does not work, and it falls into the classic word game problem, which is that if you are really good at spelling words and someone else is not as really good as you are at spelling words, the person that's really good most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time, is going to win this game. Now, there is definitely a luck element to this game on which letters you roll because you might be like i really need an r i really need an r i really need an r and if you get an r or a wild or something there's the luck aspect of this game but for the most part it does have that issue uh and i had this with the kids that i played with where i crushed them each and every time we played this three times and i crushed all the kids just because i have a larger vocabulary than them and i was able to spell more words which is unfortunate uh, continuing onward, you know, if you don't like the original Yahtzee, I don't know if this is really going to change your mind. Well, it is different because you're spelling words, so you're thinking a little bit more. It's still, you know, it's still just Yahtzee. It's still rolling the dice and hoping you get good stuff. This one, 
you have a little bit more flexibility. There's a little bit less luck because, you know, obviously if you get a two, a two is a two, whereas an E you could use in a variety of different ways. So in that aspect, I do like the game better, but I would still rather just play regular Yahtzee. Any other cons that I have with the game? You know, the dice are wooden. Uh, they're not the nicest dice. In fact, uh, this dice, one of my dice has started to like rub off because it is wooden instead of like the, uh, the typical, I believe it's marble or whatever it is. But that's really more of a nitpick than anything. You can't have people with analysis paralysis just staring at their words for a long time. Luckily, there's a one-minute sand timer, which we used. And I only had to use it on one person, but it is nice that it's included in there. But analysis paralysis can be a potential problem, and that's what I got on the con side. Moving on to the pro side, word Yahtzee is really simple. It's a really simple game to review. Do you like Yahtzee? Do you like word games? Do you have friends who also are in that boat and are, are on the same playing field, you know, uh, spelling-wise and vocabulary-wise as you are? If the answer is yes, this is a good game that you will have fun with. I did. I played one game of this with someone who was on an even playing field or a close to even playing field with me, uh, educationally and vocabulary. They were a grown-up, and we enjoyed the game for what it was. It's a light, simple, dice rolling, trying to spell words, trying to find different ways uh, to spell a five, six letter word or find three words or all consonant or all vowels. We had fun with this game and we thought it was okay to good. But here's the thing. That's the only situation where I can recommend this game at all. And that's not good. So what, what do I think about word Yahtzee? No, I think you should go with regular Yahtzee unless you're planning on playing this with adults who are on the same skill level as you, or if you just want to play it as a solo game to see how high of a score you can get. And that's another comment I have of the game. I'm not the biggest fan of solo games where you roll the dice and try and see, oh, what's my highest score? Can I beat my highest score? But if you are one of those people, then yes, I can recommend Word Yahtzee because it's light, it's simple, and you can easily keep track of your scores from game to game to game. So if you're in those two boats, I think it's an okay to good game. And actually, if you're looking at this as a solo game, uh, I actually just think it's a good game if you don't mind the fact you're just going to be trying to beat your score over and over again. But for everybody else, this is a really hard recommendation. There is a reason that I think Word Yahtzee has been lost in time, and that is because it's a really niche game. You know, the part of the beauty of the original Yahtzee is that any six or seven or eight-year-old could crush you. They just get super lucky and get a Yahtzee, get that, get that long straight early on. They get four or five sixes, four fours, four twos, they could beat you. Not, not present in this game. They're not just going to get lucky. Yes, they might get super lucky and get the all consonants and all vowels, and you might not get that, but your vocabulary and your ability to spell more words is probably going to offset anything the kids can do with you. So that kind of nixes this as a family game, unless you have really old kids or are you looking at this as a family get-together game where you're playing it with adults? So in the end, Word Yahtzee, there's a reason that it's been lost in time, and that's because it takes the original Yahtzee formula and narrows it, uh, as odd as that sounds. So Word Yahtzee, can I recommend? Only to two very specific groups of people. Everybody else, you can pretty much steer clear of this one. There's a reason why it's not available anymore. At least I don't think it's available anymore. So that is Word Yahtzee from uh, Lowe. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, word Yahtzee, does this interest you? Like, I bet you someone thought they were a genius when they came up with this idea. And I'll be honest with you. When I saw it over there in my giant pile of games, my retro games pile, I was like, that actually sounds like it could be a pretty cool idea. And, I, and after playing it, I was like, yeah, I think I'd rather just play regular Yahtzee. But let me know. Does this concept intrigue you would you like to see a hobby game turn into a word game Ooh, dead of winter word dead of winter i don't know how that would work but let me know in the comments below and as always thanks for your time youtube